So once again, a video based on a Discord conversation, we're going to be talking about Naruto vs. The Five Kage. I'm going to use the Kage that fought Madara, because those are the ones we know the most about. So yeah, the Kage that fought Madara versus Naruto Uzumaki. So, why don't we start with Naruto, who is not lacking in feats at all. I mean, he's the main character. He's always on screen. He has more feats than any of these characters combined. So, uh, yeah, why don't we start with Naruto, who was able to one-shot the third Raikage in base. Mind you, this is a shadow clone. Base save mode Naruto, like regular ass save mode, was able to one shot the third Raikage. Now I would just like to say that for those of you that do not know, the third Raikage was 8 tail level, and Naruto beat him. Like, no difficulty. As a shadow clone. And you know how everybody saying Madara is like so impressive, which she is? Like, Madara is 9 tail level, and Purpose to no Know is like ridiculous. Naruto, like, screwed the Nine Tails with one Rasen Shuriken. He also, um, defeated a Tail Beast when he was, like, 12 years old. Remember that? When he beat up, when he defeated Gara again, yeah, he beat a Tail Beast. So there's that. <laughs> he went, like, no Nine Tails amp, which is ridiculous. But, um, I mean, Naruto is ridiculous. And some people say, like, an underdog, I'm like, the kid is not an underdog. The kid is broken. And you let's just not beating around the bush and get to a replacement of this path Naruto. Because you know what? All this stuff is irrelevant at that point. But first, to talk about that, we need to talk about a statement by Hashirama Senju. So when Obito absorbed the Ten Tails, Hashirama flat out concerns. He flat out said, Obito is stronger than me. And I think we can all unanimously agree that Madara is more powerful than Obito, therefore Ten Tails Madara would be much stronger than Tentail Obito. I think we can all agree on that. All right, we're good on that, okay? So, Naruto shows up, and I don't even know the word. Like, he, he annihilates, he annihilates Madara. He annihilates Tentail Madara. He's like, no, bitch, bring it. He's like, I am Naruto Uzumaki. I can do whatever I want. Like, I don't even know how to describe how badly Naruto beat Madara before he absorbed the Godfrey. Madara, who was like, at no point, Madara looked to be eight games and was like, this is exciting. Looked at this past Naruto and Dake and was like, oh. Oh shit. <laughs> like, this? I may be in slight danger right now. I mean, this is Madara. Mother was like, I, I may be in danger. Like, this guy is dangerous. And the god tree is irrelevant to this point because of the fact that Obito didn't have two Renegon and he also didn't have the god tree. So, these are, they got the same buff. And Madara was stronger than Obito and you took away the Ten Tails for both of them. He is stronger than Obito. Not by a tremendous amount, in my opinion, but he was still stronger. Mind you, Madara while blind at this point in the story, was capable of no dipping Hashirama Senju. This is important. Naruto was fighting on a level with a, with a ten-tailed Madara, who before attaining the ten tail, while blind, no dipped Hashirama. And I believe Naruto Maximum Shadow Clones is like 5,000 as an adult. Naruto also didn't need to make himself weaker when creating his 6 to 5,000 Shadow Clones anymore. Because after creating like 5,000 of them to help during the 4th Great Shinobi War, he then went and fought Obito, 6 Tail Beast, and 6 Jinchuriki, with the help of Killer B, Kakashi, and Obito, and Naruto was like, not affected by no creating those clones. He created like 5,000 clones and was like, okay, and I've got this. I've also been dancing around this, but Naruto has this past save mode. He also has the truth sticking orb thanks to this past save mode, and the truth sticking orb negate all ninjutsu that are not stage mode enhanced. Or, nat or enhanced with natural energy, meaning any attack that isn't a stage jutsu is essentially useless against them, though they can be broken 
by extreme forms of Taijin. And by extreme forms, I mean it happening one time. There is a scene when Guy is fighting a ten-tailed Madara, where Guy does break through the true sneaking orb. Even Madara's like, oh shit. And he rams Madara in the face with an awesome punch. But I mean, whether or not you want to say Zunade in gate level, I mean, I guess if you really wank Zunade, you could wank her physical strength to be in gate level. But I mean, that's no really, really extreme. Like, maybe if you put all her chakra into a punch, she could, like, shatter the truth sticking orb and get a good hit in on Naruto. But he had that. He can use the truth sticking orb to negate their ninjutsu. Naruto was also able to avoid uh, Storm Release Light Fang, which was said to move at the speed of light, and he was able to avoid it, which is a massive feat, feat, feat. He, considering the fact that he is definitively a million times faster than the fourth Raikage, and he was able to outspeed the third, the fourth Raikage after attaining KCM, like, Freshly obtained KCM Naruto was outspeeding the fourth Raikage, and then in this past save mode, he's avoiding an attack that traveled at light speed. And I do know that with teamwork, they have a decent chance, but I just mean, let's just look. Why don't we look at what Madara, what Bait Madara did to the Kage for a minute? I think the first thing I need to debunk is the idea that Madara would have died multiple times in that fight if not for being reanimated or an Edo Tensei. Um, that is just simply not true. Madara was not really trying. Madara less than hit, hit him multiple times. There were multiple instances where he could have just used his shotting gun to see an attack coming and put up a rib case to Sano to protect himself and he didn't do it. Like when Zunade and other Raikage arrived. Madara didn't seem very surprised. Madara kind of got punched in the gut and was kind of like, oh, they hit me. Like, if he had been surprised by their attack, I would have been like, oh, maybe that would have worked if he was real. No, Madara just kind of let things hit him. So that's important to acknowledge. I think we need to acknowledge how strong Madara and Hashirama were when they had their fight in the final valley. Sometime after his battle with Madara Uchiha, the first Shinobi World War began, and the first ever Kage Summit was held, where Hashirama, who had been keeping the tail beast as pets, was essentially like you could have them, but we're keeping the QB. Hashirama was going to give the tail beast away to other nations as a sign of peace. This could have backfired so badly, but Hashirama was like, no, I've got this. I can handle it. I mean, this, and Madara, and, and this Madara that we're talking about, that fighting Mikage, is stronger than a Tashirama. And this Tashirama was like, no, I've got it. I can handle it, like, well, like, no big deal. You guys can have to beat you. We don't need them. We have me. Like, if anything, we're literally like, we have me, you can have the tail B. I mean, Hashirama is just on such another level. Like, it was clear that none of the Kage there wanted to fight Hashirama. Like, no one there wanted to fight Hashirama. Hashirama killed Madara, and the whole world is terrified of Madara. Madara kind of toyed with the Kage for a little bit, like he, he legitimately toyed with them, got bored, pulled out the purpose to Sano, wiped his sword, cut like ten mountains. The Kage were sitting there like, Please don't kill us too painfully. Like, they knew. Even the Kage were like, were dead. Like, they were legitimately afraid of Madara at this point. And then, I believe that the last we see of them, up until Naruto talking to Madara, he's like, where are the Kage? And Madara's just like, oh, they're not okay at all. He off-screened the five Kage. Like, like, we saw them fight with Madara for a bit, but then eventually Kishimoto was like, I don't even need to steal this fight. Like, it would literally just be them getting slaughtered. And as all the evidence I gave earlier points to, Naruto was able to give Madara trouble when he's absorbed the Tentail and has a Rinnegan? I mean, what is, what is, what are the five Kage going to do with this? I mean, 
as I said earlier, maybe you massively wanked his Lunate, he could break through the, uh, you know, the truth seeking orb. And maybe, and I guess if you really wank the Raikage, if you wank him super hard, maybe you could say the Raikage is, I don't know. I want to say if you wank him, you could say he is KCM2 speed. But even then, this past name of Naruto is faster than KCM2 Naruto. I mean, maybe with a no key making him weigh a lot less than maybe. He may be able to give Naruto some trouble in the area of speed. Maybe? I'm going to get not because Naruto can fly? So even if Mirai Kage can outspeed Naruto, Naruto can just float up in the air and hang out there and fire Rotten Jitikin at them. I mean, he can do that super tail beak Rotten Jitikin thing where he makes chakra. And then Rotten Chitikin out of the chakra of all nine tail B, just throw those down on the ground and take them out. I mean, Naruto casually destroyed meteors created by Madara with those things. I mean, remember how much trouble that Madara, that meteor, those two meteors gave the Kage? Naruto dealt with those without breaking a sweat with his Rotten Chitikin. He created like nine in base. Like, without even creating a shadow clone, he created like nine. Just chucked them up in the air, destroyed the uh, meteors. I am I don't only be animated. I mean, I've been the manga, but I mean Naruto can still. I mean, I don't doubt Naruto can do that. Um, he's immune to pretty much all levels the Genjutsu. If you get anything on him that you know, like permanent, like the Amaterasu, he can kind of like blob it off with the QB cloak. He's uh, done it before. He did it in his fight with Sasuke when he got caught with Amaterasu. He had blobbed it off. So if Mai can get, like, lava on him, he can just kind of, like, blob it off using the uh, base QB cloak, which he has shown the ability to do. I mean, I don't, I just don't see a situation where Naruto loses this fight. The Bakage lost to base Madara, like, and, which had nothing to do with him being a tenth a reanimated Shinobi, and Naruto was, like, giving, giving a uh, Tentail Madara a really hard time. I just can't see a situation where he loses this fight. A more fair fight would probably be like KCM2 Naruto versus the 5 Kage. And even then, KCM2 Naruto is like Hashirama level. Like, it's not even funny. So I'm not really sure. I just, I'm looking at this fight and I'm like, how? Like, the Kage didn't stand a chance against the Ten-Tailed Obito. Ten-Tailed Madara is stronger than Ten-Tailed Obito, and Naruto and Sasuke were the only ones that Ten-Tailed Madara considered dangerous. Like, Ten-Tailed Madara was like fighting 8 gate guy Minato, Kakashi, and Rock Lee all at the same time, and was like, no, none of you are a threat to me. Naruto shows up and he's like, okay, okay, I have to, he like summons the truth to you, and he's like, well, get back to me. He's like, I need to take you seriously. You are dangerous. So yeah, um, Naruto destroyed the five Kage. I mean, he just decimates them. It's not a fight. But please, tell me how stupid I am in the comment section down below. If you agree with me, if you disagree with me, and if you agree with me, tell me why you agree with me. Tell me if I missed anything. And if you have legitimate reasons and think Naruto was loose, tell me why. I'm very interested. But I just... The, the, the characters Naruto were fighting with are so much stronger than the characters that were beating the five Kage. I just can't see this working.